Moving on now to North Carolina, <clears throat> excuse me, and this story is just shocking. It's uh, occurring just a few miles south of Charlotte, and authorities there say they've stumbled on an absolutely sickening case of child abuse. Listen to this, a child handcuffed to a front porch, a dead chicken tied around his neck. CNN's Rosa Flores is on that story. Good morning to you, Rosa. Well, Martin Zoraida, there are many shocking factors to this story, and perhaps one of the most shocking is the profession of the mother in question. She actually works for the Department of Social Services. The outside of this North Carolina house <laughs> provides clues of the alleged horrors happening here. The child had a dead chicken hung around his neck. Sheriff's deputies say that 11-year-old boy was shivering while allegedly handcuffed by the ankle to the porch. When the deputy asked the owner what was going on, another child opened the front door, releasing several large dogs that chased the deputy to his cruiser. Man, he come out of there like grease lightning when he come back out. Authorities won't get into the details, but the owners of the house, Dorian Lee Harper and Wanda Sue Larson, now face intentional child abuse, inflicting serious injury, false imprisonment and cruelty to animals charges. Authorities removed five children from the home, ages 8 to 14, four adopted kids, and the one allegedly handcuffed, a foster child. That was awful. I just wished I'd have known that was going on because I, it would never went on. Harper is a nurse. Larson is a supervisor at the Union County Department of Social Services. Because of her job title, she also faces failure to discharge her duty as a public official. Larson wasn't at the house when the child was found allegedly handcuffed, but she's accused of being complicit. All of the children are in the custody of a social services agency outside of Union County. And we should add that the sheriff tells CNN that that boy on the porch is the only one who appears to be mistreated. Harper and Larson are scheduled to face a judge for their initial appearance on Monday. Martin Zoraida. Thank you, Rosa. Rosa Flores covering that story for us from New York this morning. And Union County, North Carolina Sheriff Eddie Cathy is joining us by phone. Thank you uh, for taking time to talk to us about this horrific case this morning. Sheriff, what, yes, what led you to conclude that the four other children in the home had not been abused? Well, that's a little misleading. Uh, we have not concluded they haven't been abused. We've just seen no obvious sign other than a small amount of uh, weight loss in those children, but uh, we're still investigating this, and the investigation will tell that. And we understand from the reports that you, you found this really by happenstance. I think it was in an officer was responding to something that was happening in another home and happened to see this little boy on the porch. Uh, he was handcuffed, and he had a dead chicken around his neck. Do, have, do you have any explanation for that when you talked to the, the homeowners? Well, when we talk to the homeowners, no, but we don't have any idea of what would possess anybody to handcuff a child out on the porch on a cold, wintry morning with very little clothes on and tie a dead chicken around his neck. Uh, I can't understand that, and I'll be honest with you, I'm glad I can understand it. Right. And so they haven't said anything to you? I mean, you must have questioned them both. Uh, have they given any kind of explanation as to what was going on? Uh the um, the male subject that was arrested actually requested an attorney and has not cooperated and miss lawson has cooperated and she has given us a lot of information is but, there any information you can share with us well there's not much information we can share with you areas that uh she works in this so we know she knew about it she knew right from wrong she knew the law uh, any person with any common sense knows that you can't treat children this way. So our uh, officers will continue to talk to them as they will talk to us, and we will talk to these kids, and then we'll make a determination as to how to move forward with the prosecution. The, um, this was a foster child who was found outside, handcuffed um, by the officer. Have they had other foster children? I mean, could there be concerns of previous children that have been in their care? Well, it is a concern. Uh, the four other children over there were adopted children. So those are questions that we will have to answer as we move along is 
how did they adopt those children? How did they get those children? How uh, was their home visits? If you look at this home, uh, you know, uh, we also, along with law enforcement, run the animal shelter. We wouldn't allow this family to adopt an animal out of the animal shelter. And this uh, particular family had never been in trouble with the law before? Uh, would know of nothing yet. All right, uh, Sheriff, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us this morning. Sheriff Eddie Cathy, Union County Sheriff there. Um, it's just mind-boggling, absolutely it mind-boggling. It, it's a horrific story that just, I mean, you want to know so much right, more. Right, there's no justification for what they found. But what you do want to understand is what were they thinking, right? What was mm -hmm. going through these folks' minds that they did something to that, like that to a child and the other children? Because they said they seem to be in good condition, but they don't know yet. I, I can't imagine they were thinking anything. I mean, right. I just... I'm sorry, I'm at a loss. All right.